this is the ASMR Gamer and welcome to this evening's video, I hope you are all doing really, 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 really well. And this is going to be a bit of a, um, I'm trying to think of the term to best describe this video a bit of an aimless video in the sense that it's not a specific video of any kind really it's a bit of a ramble it is a ramble that's the aim the aim of the game is to ramble um i am quite hung over hung over hung over hung over i'm a little hung over so um i thought well the best sort of video to film or while you're feeling over is a chilled out one and you know who'd have thought it who'd have thunk it asmr is a chilled out video series type so it's a chilled out video to make so yeah for the next sort of 20 minutes or so 20 20 you got that 20 just gonna sit down, chill, and rimble ramble. Of course, I've got, as always, are you ready? The big, the big, the big announcements. I'm just looking at the viewfinder to make sure the colour's okay. Like we are filming during the day. It is four o'clock. It's twenty past four and I am in my pyjamas. It's a hangover day. And I've got a coffee, a coffee, a coffee. There we go. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see the steam still rising from it? It is a decaf, a decaf, a decaf americorno. It's a decaf americorno. It's a hot cup of decaf americorno. And it is hot. Although I do have to be careful because when making it, there was a bit of foil from a previous pod that went down the tube um, where the coffee uh, flies through. And I don't know if it got picked up and carried on downstream into the cup. So I need to be wary of some foil. Foil, foil, foil. So, yeah, we've got that. Oh, gee, we're going to ramble, probably ramble about the party. The sort of gathering. It wasn't really a party, it was a gathering. A socially distanced affair. I do wonder when this video comes out, is social distancing still a thing? Oh, and, 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 as, as you do have in every one of these videos, we got a bit of cake. A bit of tasty cake. In these previous videos, you will be aware of the Costa Cake Competition. The Costa, 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 Coffee, 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 Cake, 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 cake Competition, Competition, Competition. Essentially, in the past few videos, because I've been going around the Costa drive through which if you don't know, Costa is basically a British Starbucks, but a bit better, I think it's better. Um, and I'd get a mocha, a mocha, 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 mocha with an extra shot of coffee and a cake. Um, that's actually why I'm drinking decaf, because uh, I had a mocha before with, you know, an extra shot of coffee, so I'm a bit caffeinated out for, well, for the afternoon anyway. Uh, but yeah, obviously picked up a cake. And the competition has consisted of one, two, three, three cakes. One is the chocolate tiffin, which uh, goes down a tree. It's a, it's a solid, stable cake. The second is... Um, chocolate tiffin. Caramel shortbread. Sorry, I don't know why that... Uh, evaded me there. Shortbread, caramel shortbread, which again is a, a sturdy biscuit. It's got a great shortbread base, lovely caramel, the caramel at Costa, top notch, and then a nice thin layer of chocolate. It's, a, it's an all round, it's a great cake adornment. It's almost got dunkability. And the final one we reviewed is a salted caramel brownie. Now, I was explaining to my, my 
my mate this this competition, this sort of cycle we're going through. And he's like, well, surely after you've reviewed each one, you then need to get new cakes. And I went, that would make logical sense, my friend. But you're wrong. No, we're not doing that because those three are the best cakes. And so I'm just going to keep cycling them just because they're the cakes I want to get. So today it's getting reviewed again. This might be the third time we're reviewing this. So, as a filming. 
saying we are currently 100 subscribers away from 70,000. That's mental. Um, so, yeah, I obviously want to say a big thank you to everyone who over the years has subscribed to the channel. It's really awesome continuing doing this stuff and, um, yeah, it's just awesome growing with you guys. So, sorry, quite a lot of mouse sounds there. So yeah, just want to say a big thank you from me, and uh, who knows how many subscribers will be on um, come September, probably 70 and 1, 70,001, 70001, zero, 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 I think that's correct, I think that's correct, yeah, <laughs> so, yesterday, yeah, I went for a with um, a group of my old school friends because we didn't want to go to the pub or anything so we went round to my mates in the garden he bought a gazebo uh, it's a cracking gazebo because the weather recently has been like really capricious it's been really sort of just changes one minute it's really stormy and rainy next minute it's dry uh, which is you know you take what you can get and um, thus, I, I actually, we actually coined, he coined a um, meteorological uh, law um, because he was like, right, the day before the pipe, so two days ago, he's like, right, it's meant to be raining, like it's just raining and it's belting it down. It's like, right, it can't rain forever, so therefore, if it rains a load now, it's less likely to rain tomorrow. And we're all like, What, what a theory that is. And thus, Davos Law was born. Davos Law was born. If it rains a lot now, it just statistically can't rain later on. And, and so, yeah, so the gazebo was brought to, um, yeah, in case it inevitably rained, which it did rain. It did rain. It started raining really heavy later on in the evening. Um, so, yeah, so it's a bit of a barbecue. And some drinks I brought, I brought a garden chair to sit on uh, as a pew and I actually brought a gazebo because for some reason we own a gazebo, like it's just a small green one. Because um, I was like, oh, yeah, the guy who's like, oh, yeah, he's got a gazebo, so it's like, and my mum was like, yeah, we've got a gazebo, you can bring your gazebo if you want, yeah, and then he's got two gazebos. And I was like, two's better than one on the old gazebo front. Yeah, suddenly I was like, well, um, his garden's getting this massive gazebo extension. Yeah, it completely changes the floor plan and dynamics of this this garden um, outdoor space. So I brought that along. Ended up not putting it up because, um, just because when I got there, the, the weather was dry and it was dry for the majority. Also, his gazebo was like big enough that we could all sit in fairly comfortably. So yeah, we had a barbecue, barbecue was tasty, brought along some burgers, I brought some burgers, went to uh, the butchers, the butchers, uh, just because I thought the supermarket would be rammed, so um, I was queuing and stuff, so I went to the butchers and then the garage um, to get drink, so I got some beef burgers, beef, 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 burgers, and also some pork and apple burgers, oh, what a combination. Pork and apple arm. So I brought some burgers, brought some drinks um, for the sash, the sash, 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 because it's still cool to be 22. And sash, I won't, I won't be told otherwise. Um, although to be fair, like I, I hadn't drunk from yesterday. I had actually drunk for like three months since the start, like since the lockdowns had probably started. Um, Again, not for any sort of super serious reason, just because I was trying to lose some weight and, uh, you know, health and fitness is a really, really big part of my life. Um, yeah, if you watch that 10k G video, you'll know that living by a strict diet is what I, you know, it is my Bible. An exercise and clean eating. You know, I mock anyone who deviates from that. Oh. That health style. No, but yeah, at the start of lockdown, I made a, an effort to stop because I was drinking quite a lot before that, just going to the pub and stuff with mates like every weekend. And to be honest, it did help massively. It helped me cut down my weight. If you go back to videos from the start of the year, it's a bit like, you know, a bit full 
moustache, so some of you who aren't fans of the moustache, um, happier times for you. <laughs> um, yeah, no, so I didn't, uh, so I brought along a duck for, for cans of lager, pint-sized cans of lager, so four points. Um, my lager of choice is Foster's. Immediately, I can imagine, from my UK viewers, immediately in the comments going, Foster's is a terrible lager. It's a cracking lager. I won't hear otherwise. And I took a bottle of gin, a cup bottle according to gin, just because what they had at the garage, with some tonic and lemonade for mixer. I ended up not uh, opening the uh, gin, because... That was a nice coffee. Because I got razzled off the lager, um, I think because I, I haven't drunk for so long. Um, it meant like my body was, wasn't used to it. So yeah, I got quite drunk after like two cans of uh, two pints of Foster's. Uh, and it was good, yeah, it was a really, really good party to be fair. Uh, there was like, about I think, like eight of us, nine of us, a few friends and the girlfriends uh, there. Like we met one of my uh, you know, best mates, girlfriends, so it was really nice to meet her and obviously like introduce her into the group because we're a really uh, like close group of lads from school and like, we've all stayed in touch. Whereas a lot of my, I know lots of other people who just sort of, once you leave school, that's it, just you all go off. Whereas we've all stayed in touch and uh, yeah, we're still really close. So that's really good. Um, he actually, um, he actually messaged me the um, the day before, going, oh, "I've got a gift for you. I've got a gift." I went, "Right, that makes me nervous." And so when we were getting stuff out, the guy go, "Oh, here it is." And he pulls out. <laughs> friends. 
reduce the amount of drink, like I'm not going to cut it out like I've been doing. Like, you know, if we go to the pub, I'll have a pint, but I, I think I've like, I no longer see it as such a prerequisite of that, like such a requirement to have like a good time with your mates. And not that I did in such a staunch view. It's just like, you know, uh, from leaving school, going to university and stuff. Just it was always just parties and hanging out and drinking. Um, and don't get me wrong, it's still fun. But I just see it less of a, a main thing. Like happily just have like a few beers, hang out with my mates, don't need to get like hammered. Like because again I didn't really drink too much last night. I had four pints of the four pints of Foster's and then I think I had three shots of vodka and the only reason why we did shots because we were we were playing this game called categories where so you're in a circle. A circle. You're in a circle. Hello, welcome to the circle, circle of trust. This is a circle of trust in a way, except it's more of a ruler or a straight line of trust. Because th th there's you and I. Um, Sorry, I was wondering what that noise was. It was, uh, I think my, someone in my house is blending something. Probably my little sister, she just blends all day. Blend this, blend that. Just not the foundation. Oh, burn, burn. All the makeup fans in the uh, comments are going to be going, oh, that's a sick burn. Oh, oh. I know nothing about makeup, zero interest of, uh, of mine. So. So I'm actually quite pleased with that. Sick burn. Um, sorry, where were we? Yeah, not drinking. Um, oh yeah, categories, categories. Yeah, so basically, you come up with a category. So for example, it was capital cities, and you, uh, you start. So I started, and I said, I bet I can name nine capital cities in 60 seconds. It is all within 60 seconds. And then the person to your left, they they either uh, raise the bet, the, <coughs> so they may go, I could do 10, or I could do 11, 12, or they have to call you out and go, but I mean, and go no, I don't think you can um, do that many in that time period, in those 60 seconds. And um, so it goes around like that, raise it, rising each time until someone calls the um, adjacent person out. And when that, when you get called out, you then have 60 seconds to back, back your chat, as they say, and uh, do it. And if you succeed, the person who called you out, they have to do a shot, and it was vodka in our case. And if you, uh, if you failed, uh, you'd have to take the shot. And I kept getting shafted because the bloke on my right, my mate. He, he would like raise the bet, and I and I knew he could quite comfortably. For example, capital cities, he just knows them all. I knew, well, he knows them. So when he said, "Oh, I bet I can do X amount," I was like, "I know he can do." So I can't call him out. I can't call him out because he'll succeed, and I have to do the shot. <coughs> so I invariably have to raise the bet, knowing that I can't. So then it's a game of bluff, 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 bluff. However, I had my mate's girlfriend on my left, who, she was also in a similar predicament, where she, she was like, oh, I can't do any more than that, but she knew I couldn't, so she'd just call me out every single turn, I'd get called out, and then I'd have to do it, and you know, um, and I failed, for, on three different occasions, I failed, and therefore I had to do the shot. However, I did manage to, uh, sting her, and, um, uh, managed to pick a category that stymied her, like right off the bat, which was like Jack and Nakanori. But that was that was a fun game, although doing shots is like not like I'm not I don't love doing shots. I remember when I turned 18 and stuff, I was just well, it's just like everything was new. So I was like, I love doing like yeah, go to the bar, go yeah, can I have you know, can I have five Jaeger bombs, can I have three shots of vodka. And I don't know why you'd want to shot vodka, because it's, it's not great. Like, I like vo vodka as a mix of spirit, like, um, like vodka cranberry for years would be my, um, drink of choice.
boys and I literally got that just because one of my mates one time ordered a vodka cranberry and I went that looks quite tasty I'll have one of them and because the cranberry is so sweet it just masks the vodka so you can just do loads and like you can have like a triple vodka and you're laughing where's now gin and tonic I just like gin and tonics I remember when we'd gone family holidays abroad and stuff and like my parents still would drink gin and tonics and I remember when I was like yeah 14, 15 I'd try and I'm going that's vile like tonic water that's grim now nothing better than you know when you're out in the sun a nice Hendrix and tonic slice of cucumber mm, fantastic and I can be quite you know you can either you can low key drink a load of gin I remember down south when I was working on my placement year we'd have these big intern pies and uh, yeah, I'd just sort of, I'd drink, I'd bring a bottle of gin and I'd just quaff it, I'd just, you know, because you don't notice it with the mixer, you just think you're having lemonade or something, you, you know, you can have quite a lot in it, not realise, I'd just quaff the bottle and then, you know, I'd pass out about 2am, I once passed out with chicken nuggets in my hand, which uh, one of my mates has a, a picture of, much to my uh, chagrin, as it's, uh, the emotional blackmail of that embarrassment. <laughs> no, but yeah. Like I think now, I've left uni, so I've finished uni, and I start work in September. So wish me luck, hopefully it's going well. But I feel like there's, it's less of a, I think there's less occasions for parties. Um, and just, I don't know, it's like one of those, I find it just hanging out with your mates is oh, more than enough banter. Banter, banter, banter. Um, and, so, and you don't, and you don't really need it as a sort of social lubricant, dear, uh, to crease the uh, communicative cocks. Community, communicative, 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 cocks, cocks, communicative cocks. That's a tongue twister. I've just seen we're nearly at thirty minutes. I really have no idea, right? Just these these past few weeks, the videos are just longer. Like I remember, like last year, I'd feel it'd be quite difficult to ramble and stretch to twenty minutes. Now we're just we're just hanging out, and I think that's probably why it's so much easier. Although I do like the um, the way the colour is now in the video it seems a bit more balanced. Love it. last year and stuff I kind of fell out of love of making videos it seemed a bit of a chore whereas now I, I, I'm really loving it like I'm loving the streams I'm loving making videos so it's just time just goes like like that it goes by and Fortnite. And 
then somehow in our first game we get the dub and so I got the winning kill for the victory royale I have no idea how like I had no idea we were down to the last few players and I think that helped because I think it removed any sort of pressure This guy who looked like Batman. Easy peasy lemon squeeze, and then suddenly on the screen, Victory Royale. And if you go back and look at that video, uh, if you go back on the stream, it's about 45 minutes in. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? We've won? No, no. Have we just won on stream? Our first win on stream. First, first win on stream. And honestly, just streaming is so much fun because it is an ASMR stream. So if you you can, you can just come along and um, just like a three hour long ramble conversation, but it's really cool because um, the chat's really lively. We've got a really really great uh, chat. Um, you know, interact a lot. Like I say, it's not a stream where you just sort of pop in and just I just you just watch me play a game for three hours. All throughout, it's a back and forth uh, with you guys in the chat, and we've got uh, fantastic moderators who um, who get involved, and it's just a really, really good, fun ASMR um, again mini community, mini place to hang out, and uh, yeah, it's just really fun on weekends. So um, yeah, a bit of a bit of a stream plug, 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 plug. So yeah, that's what I'm doing for the rest of today. Edit this video. sort of little uh, little goal because uh, you know milestones are made 